We doubled up. Ooh, that's a two. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? It's The Hunter Fisher. Welcome back to another epi banger video. Today I'm here with PAD Fishing. Once again, it's been like, I'm gonna see, you're gonna be in like the last three of my videos, dude. <laughs> so I hope you get at least some exposure from this. But today we are out back at the public lake, about to launch again on the plastic pontoon to see if we can go catch some bigs today because the last two times we've tried this, we broke down. The second time we tied. So we're gonna try that 1v1 again today. And it's actually looking really good as far as conditions go. I don't know if you guys can really see it, but look at the fog on the water and look at the sunset, or sun, not sunset, sunrise. Everything looks perfect for top water. Everything looks perfect for catching fish in general. And I'm super excited to get out there on the water and see what we can get into. I expect a little bit more size out of this lake, I've noticed, because size has always been one thing I can rely on out here. It may not be numbers, but like every time I've come out here, it's been like two or higher. Yeah. It's never been below two, but last time it was all below two, yeah. which was weird. Oh, so it shouldn't have been that way. So hopefully we can get on some size today. I'm throwing around a popping frog. Dude, there's a gator. Right a gator? Oh yeah, he's chilling in the bottom. But I got a little popping frog on and a 10,000 fish saw crawl. Which the saw crawl is actually really good looking. It has big, bigger claws than any really crawl I've ever seen before, which is going to be interesting for today's bite because last time we came out here, the bite was definitely crawls. I do have some jigs I'm going to throw just in case I need to downsize a little bit, but hopefully we can get on them. Let's get out on the water and I'll see you guys then. When I was using my six, the mic quality was nothing compared to the eight. Oh. There we go. You got one? Yep. Hey. First fish. Don't lose him. Don't lose him. I'm horse of men too. Don't lose him. He's not bad. No! Oh, no, he lost him. No! <sighs> dude, that was like a four pounder. That was a good one. That was a three pounder, dude. Oh. oh. Dang, dude. Dang, that was a good That one. was like 100% my fault, too. Oh, Dang it, dude. One, dude. Oh, crap. That was a good one. Good he was using a weightless fluke with that technique. Like, we were over at um the res, and there's like a bunch of cypresses. Oh. What is that for you, bro? What Something's is chasing me. What is that? Some just like walked after my bait. That was so weird. Do you see it? It's still behind me. Oh, oh. it's a fish. What is that? It's a gar, I think. It's gotta be, there's no way that's a bear. He looked like a freaking shark coming out of the water. Give her a dangle shall we oh, yes sir is that on your picture mm. Bam. Bam number. of course as soon as we put around put down the top water we're like mm. we feel like eating frogs now oh, there's one already really yep there he is <gasps> Ooh, that's a two <laughs> <laughs> Going Where is, what is <laughs> Let's go. He's a good fish, dude. I'm putting on. As soon as I cast and I start reeling, he starts running. I'm like, dang, already? Dude, I'm so mad I was using ultralight. Oh, he's so skinny. Look how skinny he is. He choked it, dude. Yeah, he choked. He would have been a two. We doubled up. We doubled up. Doubled Mine's, up. I think mine's smaller though. 
doubled up, boy. He's skinny and he looks really weird and I just broke my rod. I can't throw a Texas rig anymore, dude, unless I tie it on the braid. That's okay. It's only a 40 pound braid and this guy choked it. Dang, I shouldn't have. I really just Kind of high sticked him, yeah. I just broke that into two pieces. What a cast, dude. Just barely past the branches. No! Oh! oh. Were you on a fish? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. All right, guys, we are about an hour or so into the two hours almost in the tournament. We've both caught one fish. I've lost two now. So I would have had most fish if I actually hooked into fish, but I just lost an actually, no, I just lost another one. I forgot. So now I've lost three fish, lost more fish than I've actually caught. But I got the sauce. Yep, he, he's, got, he's got more hammer hooks, so it's okay. Oh. But right there is where I just lost that fish on a little 10,000 fish saw craw. When I'm flipping around today, I was low-key thinking about tying on a jig for a second there. But I'll show you guys what I've been tossing around today. I actually... I oh, you got one? Did it break oh, you off, too? Oh, my gosh. It didn't break me off, but I have one, dude. That's crazy. I'm, I'm retying as fast as possible, but... That's Ooh. what I'm using. 10,000 fish saw craw on the four inch pack. These things are awesome. Durability, awesome scent awesome design of the packaging that means nothing but still it's really awesome for the price i love these things great action can't really beat them but if you guys are wanting to check these out make sure you go check out my links down below for shop carls and if you want to possibly get these in your next mtv go sign up for your first one you can get it as low as ten dollars use code hunter fish so we're gonna get back to fishing i'm gonna tie up as fast as i can because uh, i'm nervous now i'm kind of scared of what that fish was dude it kind of like he snipped me off dude he like had scissors for teeth Whoa. but when I was getting you the hammer hooks, I just tossed it up there and just left it. And then when I picked it up, he's freaking running back and forth. Oh my gosh. Somehow I freaking Let's get back in there. Yes. Dude, I'm tying a good knot. <laughs> hey, at least I got the bobber stop. <laughs> Dude, what is cheap. going on? Literally, I saw my line tighten up and start running, and then a hook set and it just popped right off. That's crazy. I'm going to eliminate the middle class. So. Oh. You're kidding. Dude, I have like zero luck today. My luck is like just completely just, oh, I just got swung at, dude. Oh, I got my mouth. It's not really hard to get out of Look at that, 10 pounder, baby. Heck yeah, it's a Ooh. Yak Pack 10 pounder. I felt them hit it a little bit. Oh, oh I thought you were about to go in. Good video. Heck yeah, more content. Nope, that feels normal. He's like, push me and be like, get, 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 get content, get content. Dude, I just got hit again. Can I catch a fish? Or at least get a bite on this? I'll take another bite, please. I just want another bass feel right again. A <laughs> double bank shot. It should be double luck. Yes, dude. He bit at the boat. You're kidding. Dude, I got one. I was literally what? reeling. I was literally reeling. I was literally reeling. Oh, yeah. That was like a two or three. I was literally reeling. 
Oh I man. Was literally reeling and he came up and grabbed it. I'm gonna have to get some black and blue bandito bugs soon. Should have hooked it. Dang it. Dang it. It's a real bass. It's a, bass. It's a 12 incher. <laughs> that is small as crap, dude. Spit my dad gun. Can't eat a bug, huh? Alright, boys. Me, Ooh. Care about the size of it. What are those? What? You see those bugs on the tree? Oh, yeah. They look weird. Alright boys, so we caught another dinker dinker, dinkosaurus, going off with the old bandito bug, nice little 10 pounder, look at that bro, yeah, giant, Dude, that's a big one son, let's go, I think I'm going to keep him to eat, yeah, you make a perfect filet, that's fine, see you buddy, appreciate it for biting, we're actually getting on bigger fish, bigger, yeah, there's a bunch of fry right there. Yep, I'm seeing them. A bunch of them. Caught one. Five pounder. Yeah. There we go. Got on camera. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. It's getting really hot outside. It's getting tough during the summer heat. And I'm trying to grind out as many videos as I possibly can for you guys to make sure I'm on top of things this summer. And... If you guys like this video, make sure you press that like button and comment down below. What was your favorite part about this video? Let me know if you love flipping as much as I do, because that's essentially what this video is going to be about. It's just me flipping and how much fun it's going to be and me really struggling to uh, get bit. Today was nothing like it's been before. Bite, the flipping bite out here has been awesome lately. I don't know what happened today. Completely different situation there. Can't really explain that. It was fun nonetheless. I was glad to catch fish on the EPF swim one inch. I bought a ton of those because I was super excited for them and hopefully those play over well. So if you guys wanna see where you can get those, I'll try to link it down below, but if you guys wanna check out some more Euro Tackle stuff, Shop Crawls actually carries Euro Tackle. So if you guys wanna go check out some Euro Tackle panfish stuff, not panfish really, but more micro fishing. I love micro fishing, y'all know that, but flipping. If you wanna go check anything that I use today, you will find it all at shopcarls.com. So if you guys wanna go check them out, go hit the link in the description. If you guys wanna get your first mystery tackle box for as low as $10, use code HUNTERFISH. And that is all for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. And uh, I'll see you on the water. And uh, remember, fish fear me.